So now we're ready to introduce some tentative and still soft criteria for distinguishing between terms and words. A word or phrase is likely to be a term if it appears in a specialized text, if it has a domain-specific reference, if it occurs together with other terms, if it is defined either in the same text or in some other reference work, uh, if it is frequent in the corpus or in the text, and uh, finally, if it designates a core concept within the, the domain. Um, having seen some examples, we can categorize terms on the basis of their linguistic properties. They can be single words or multi-word units, such as um, boiler hatch, high vacuum, electron beam fusion welding, uh, they can they can appear in different morphosyntactic fun functions, so they can either be nouns or noun phrases, and these are by, by far the most frequent. They can also be verbs or verb phrases, adjectives or adverbs. Um, some domains do use terms from uh, categories such as adverbs. Uh, consider, for example, music with its uh, adverbial terms borrowed from Italian such as allegro, vivace, crescendo, all referring to the mode of playing or interpreting a composition. We might want to examine the origin of terms, whether a term has been created in the language itself through derivation or compounding, or whether it has been borrowed from another language. So here you see some examples like camping and cash flow, uh, typically, typical domestic terms and um, things like gastrointestinal bacteria of um, uh, classical origin and sushi, which is probably a more modern borrowing from Japanese. We can also distinguish between full forms of terms, also called canonical forms, and their abbreviated or truncated versions, such as initialism, acronyms, abbreviations, ellipses, and so on.